can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video and today you may got a new mask. Look at this mask guys. I mean it says oh on the other side. We got Natty right here, Save the BMW all over here. We got the new mask and we also got something else that's pretty new. I'm gonna take this off because it's kind of hard to talk with and I want you guys to hear me on. <laughs> we finally got some masks on the channel. I'm super 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 excited about these. I actually gave a few out to family. I only ordered a hundred of these and uh, we're already down to 90. So I'm only releasing 90 of these. My whole family wanted some face masks. I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and get some face masks for the family and at the same time make it a limited drop and this is it. Like, that's it. So we're all gonna keep ours and make sure we hold on tight to it. If you guys want your face mask, make sure to check out that link down below. Again, very limited. Only 90 of these ever will ever be released on this channel. Very, very, very limited. And these are super, super, super sick. And this next thing is also very limited. I'm keeping 10 for myself and I'm only selling 90 of these as well. So both of these things are only 90. I'm keeping 10 for myself because we got some future builds and I'm probably gonna have to order more down the road. But there's only 90 as of the moment. Everyone's been asking me for some Save a BMW plates. We finally got some Save a BMW plates. So remember to stay humble. The OGs know what this is all about. I cannot wait to slap this on the M4, slap this on the 7 Series, slap it on the i8. I mean, the i8 wasn't saved, but we gotta rep the merch. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have a bundle deal for the both of these. And then also these things sold separately. Only 90 of each, guys. And that's it. Like, that's it. So make sure you check out that first link down below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the 7 Series. I am super 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 excited for this car we've been getting so many parts in for this car and uh, it's gonna it's gonna make it transform it's gonna absolutely make it transform i've been getting a lot of parts in for this car trying to transport it has a lot of issues and uh, let me just show you guys what kind of issues it has and i'm trying to get it situated so everyone knows since the last video it needs a new transmission that is something that's major um we thought we needed a sunroof but it looks like that's working we thought we needed a controller the 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 high drive controller but it seems like that's working as well we need a rear bumper because this one is severely paint damaged we need brake sensors. We need a new lug nuts because this one is stripped. We need new door handles because this is all sticky and stuff. We need a new center armrest because you guys, that's absolutely destroyed. You guys can tell that this aluminum is pretty much all warped up all the way across everywhere here. And even this is peeling. So we need a new uh, pretty much center piece right here. New cap for the iDrive controller. We need a whole new dashboard. I mean, like, what the heck? We need a new airbag because this airbag is defected. It's throwing an airbag light. So need a new airbag. I think this is some kind of off market or, or something like that. I don't know what's going on there. We need a new front bumper, new headlights, new oil pan gasket, new temperature gasket, new spark plugs, new ignition coils, every single maintenance in the book. We also need a new push button start. That thing is shot. New cabin air filters. We gotta get the smoking smell out of here. We actually got the ozone thing right here. Shout out to Nick. So many things need to get done to this car. Oh yeah, it even needs a new oil pan. A new oil pan, new rear main seal, transmission. This thing needs an, a completely new life. Like, and you guys, you, you guys said in the last video, you guys really want me to actually bring this thing back to life. And put my own twist to it make it look super 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 sick so i think that's what we're going to end up doing if you guys gonna be enjoying these video series make sure to smash that like button for me please because this is gonna cost me way more than it's worth and uh end of the day i want to see this thing get fixed just as much as you guys so i love this version because this is the extended door version it's plastic it has a beautiful brown interior and at the same time it's run by an n54 rear wheel drive i think this is probably one of the best seven series packages you guys can get for the money so yeah guys cop some merch to support your boy this Bill's gonna cost so much. Very, very, very limited stuff here. And if I catch any of you guys wearing this in person, if I catch any of you guys wearing it while we're out shopping or anything like that, I'll make sure to give that person a discount code for the merch store to get anything they want for free. So that's also something if I run into you guys uh, from all of 2021, I will give that particular person a free discount code. So basically get it for free if I run into you and this is in the public. Please don't be weird and show up to my house. That, that's, that, that's not how that works. Hopefully Beamer Fest 2021 will be open and hopefully some big events will be open this year and i'll be able to attend it meet some of you guys it'll be super 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 cool and you guys let's get into the build we have so many things for the seven series we have so many things and this video is sponsored by fcp euro so shout out to fcp euro we got all of our brake fluids right here this thing needs brake fluids this thing needs oil so shout out to fcp euro for hooking it up right there fcp euro also sent us a bunch of ignition coils to swap everything out with we have also the cabin air filters because we need to swap those out because it has the smoker smell they even sent us a lot of spark plugs i actually only ordered six but i guess eight will be fine i mean that that we can save it for more builds down the road these are the door handles we got both door handles for the front we got a new push
push button start in black. We got this guy right here. I know this isn't really necessary and I probably should be focused on the transmission before something like this, but look how mint condition this is and the button's in great shape. I really just want to restore this thing to like perfecto condition. We have new brake sensors because you guys know that the previous owner cut the brake sensors and that's throwing a brake light. So <laughs> we have brand new brake sensors. And last but not least, we got the airbag. This was actually the airbag from our F10. We upgraded our F10 steering wheel. So this was actually the airbag from our F10. I sent this off to Ozla because I didn't need it anymore. But then I hit him back up and I was like, I got an, an, F, an FO2 and I would love to get my airbag back if possible. And they were more than happy to send it back. So shout out to Ozla. I love them so much. And again, guys, huge special shout out to FCP Euro. This is crazy. We got so much maintenance planned for this car. This is going to be getting the love of its life. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start working on this bad boy. So first thing first, guys, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. We do have the parking sensors and everything from the front end of the car once we get the front end stuff, of course. But right now, let's go ahead. Oh, we also have the fog lights and everything. We have a lot of little things here and there. <laughs> let's just go ahead and disconnect the battery so you can remove the airbag. Oh my God, this airbag's being a pain. There's only one tab up there. You're supposed to push up on it and pull it out. I think this isn't the right airbag size or something's going up with this airbag because it's just not coming out. I'm gonna keep trying to finesse this thing. Oh my God, I can't wait for this thing to come out. All right, guys, now that we got the new airbag in, I'm so happy also to replace the logo because the logo on the other one, I don't know if you guys noticed, it is just so ugly. Um, like it's even cricket too, like it's cricket and it's, I don't like this stuff. I like the original BMW logos. Um, I'm hoping once we clear the airbag light, this is actually gonna fix the issue. I'm hoping the airbag was the issue, not a clock spring or something behind the steering wheel. I guess we'll find out uh, after we clear the light. Um, a few other things I wanna knock down the interior while we're in here. I wanna go ahead and fix this and replace this. And I wanna replace the, the push button start because most of those things look so bad. Let's go ahead and I wanna replace this first. I think it's gonna be so satisfying. Look, look at all the crinkles right there. Bada bing, bada bang. And even this right here, all the peel on the, uh, on the pull. Let's go ahead and replace this thing and I feel like it's gonna make such a big difference. Guys, that looks so much better. It looks like you just got into a completely different car. That is no longer worn out. You can see it's working. Uh, none of this trim is molded up or anything. This looks so good. Now I kind of feel like I'm gonna replace this. I wanna replace the faded buttons. <laughs> this is gonna get too expensive, but it is a luxury car, so you might as well restore it. I am trying to get a new armrest as well. I'm not even trying to repaint over this. I wanna get a new armrest, and I wanna get a new button there. I don't know, it's just this car, for some reason, I kinda wanna fully restore it, especially now that it has this BMW emblem. It looks so good. Next thing I wanna do, right before we actually clear code, so now we got this thing replaced, I wanna get one of those big knobs you can kind of replace you can remove this whole thing and put like a, a, a newer knob on here i think i saw a kit on amazon that cost 20 dollars, and it removes this old ugly old small one with this faded thing and you can put the bigger one that's not faded i think it looks a lot lot better as well we're gonna go ahead and place an order on that i actually thought my controller was broken but it looks like it's working after we actually put the trickle on it for overnight the sunroof started working completely fine and this started working completely fine so before if you guys have a lot of electrical issues make sure you replace the battery first because that could be the the reason for all your issues all right next thing i want to replace this push button because that's also faded and it just looks so bad so let's go ahead and remove this trim piece and just replace that push button interior coming together we got the push button looking beautiful and brand new i kind of wanted to just go with the black because i want this thing it's, it's a classy car you don't want red push button starts or anything like that you want it to stay as classy as possible i'm just super happy this small trim piece fit perfectly looks so good that looks so good finally got the bmw logo let's go ahead and clear the codes and see if the airbag light goes away
right guys something that's very strange is i just cleared the airbag light and the driver's airbag is not clearing so is that other airbag actually good and uh there's something else going on back here i'm wondering if this car was in a flood because uh these seats also both modules are not working and uh, there is a lot of like disgusting stuff inside the center console when it took it apart and uh, so is the roof as well but i mean i couldn't imagine how it can get up there um and then obviously just a lot of other electronics that are just not working so maybe i don't know i don't know it's either it's just some either coincidence because this is a seven series the 165,000 miles could just be you know normal stuff for a seven series but the previous owner has never replaced anything um or i just don't understand i mean this car was involved in an accident but this airbag is replaced and i cleared the code and it didn't go away so uh let's go ahead and see what code this this is throwing again so we can try to figure out what the issue is so these are the three codes i'm getting for the airbag airbag driver valve resistance to great airbag driver valve resistance to great a bunch of codes right here for that so i need to look into this and i'll get back to you guys in a second all right guys so i said check your horn if it's working my horn is not working so it seems like my clock spring is bad so it looks like we need a new clock spring guys um other than that it also saying that the seat the reason i'm getting the seat calibration error and i'm getting another airbag light because i have three airbag lights is because the seat valves which is a sensor inside both seats are gone bad so that's why i have a seat calibration error and that's why i also have the airbag light so we need to order the seat sensors for both of these let's go in and see if they even plugged in because the previous owner has been messing with this car completely uh let's go ahead and check that out um or at least do a little bit more research but this guy is saying it's probably the driver's seat sensor so let's go ahead and look into that all right guys so after checking with the car it turns out the codes has something to do with either the clock springs or the seats but the volume buttons don't work and the the horn's not working so it has to be the clock spring so we're gonna have to order a new clock spring hopefully that should fix all of our issues right now um we're also gonna be working on the m4 my my fiance's father is here to help me he's a mechanic himself so he's gonna help me check the suspension on the m4 because currently the wheel is not turning so well actually it is turning but it just makes a lot of clunking noises and the steering if you let go of it it turns to one way instead of going back to straight which is a serious issue the m4 other than that is pretty much in good shape just needs a seat belt actually the seat belts are ready we're picking it up in this video but at the same time we just want this to be running properly as well i know this is not an m4 video but we might as well knock this out in this video as well uh, mainly because we do need the m4 on the road asap so uh let's get the 7 series out and get the m4 inside Yeah, the M4 seriously has some suspension issues. Let's go ahead and get inside the garage and take a look at it. Guys, I feel like we're running like a BMW dealership or something out here. So we parked the M4 over there. That's not my house, but uh, nobody's lived there for the last 10 years. So we decided to park the M4 right there. Um, we did get the tie rod adjusted with the control and everything to the best of our ability to where it's at least it feels safe to drive, which is great. Hopefully you can get in the seat belts and everything for that car as well. But as for now, um, this isn't the topic of today's video, the 7 Series. So I want to install also the door handles. Um, I did some research and it turns out uh, the horn's not working, the buttons aren't working, and that's all because of the clock spring. So the clock spring is also not allowing the airbag to connect either. I didn't know that's how all that stuff works. You live and you learn. So if your airbag is throwing a fault and you replaced it and your buttons are not working, your horn's not working, that's all because of the clock spring. If any of those are not working, all those connect to your clock spring and then the clock spring connects to the actual car itself. So we all learn a little bit here and there. <laughs> Anywho, we'll order a clock spring, get that fixed. I think Nick has one, so shout out to Nick once again. The next thing I want to show you guys is a super, super, super cool thing. I don't know if you guys have a 7 Series, but if any of you guys do, um, there's this cool little mod that fixes the gooiness that goes right here. So as you guys can see, there's no gooiness here. And if you guys look at it like, wow, this looks really OEM. This is actually an aftermarket part. Let me guys show you guys the other side and what part I put over. Like literally, I just put it over. It didn't have to remove anything and it fixed all the gooiness. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about real quick. So if you guys look at this door handle here, it is completely destroyed. This is absolutely disgusting. You don't even want to touch it, honestly, because your hands get like this and it gets really bad every time you get inside the car. Um, so basically, I was looking up door handles to replace this with because on the F chassis, you can replace them. Um, but this car 
it's actually one with the door. It's so stupid. So they actually started making these little pieces, which are basically add-ons, and you literally just put it in there. That's all you have to do. You put it in there, slide it in, just like this. Let me go ahead and show you guys. So you just force it in, bada bing, bada bing. You heard that click? <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that fitment. It looks so good. Fixes the issue. Now we can go ahead and grab the door handles. No issues. Um, and actually, the glue helps it stay down. So, <laughs> I don't know. Whoever that invented this thing is so smart. And the fitment's amazing. Now, both doors, you guys just saw, is now fixed. No more sticky stuff here. This car's already coming together. The dashboard, I'm actually on the lookout for a new one. I think Erlon found a dashboard somewhere out there for me. So, if we could replace the whole dash, that will fix that situation. And our next thing also for the interior would be this as well. Um, so, the interior as of right now is looking really 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 good everything's really coming together we got this working we still need to replace this off of amazon i have to order that the sunroof started working which is great so the next thing on our list is going to be the ozone thing so basically uh we're going to have to do is remove the cabin air filter from the front remove the lower filter from down here i think even the air tank filter we have to replace all those filters um so the new air that comes in don't have any smoker smells into it we're going to have to actually deep clean the carpets and then we're going to put the ozone thing inside the car to make sure all the smoker smell comes outside the car because we don't want that anymore. It smells so bad in here. And once that's get fixed, it's gonna feel so much better. how bad these are so literally it doesn't look like he's ever replaced these on both sides and actually this is actually looking a lot better before he took it out before he took it out there was leaves all over it i mean oh my god these are absolutely terrible thank god we're replacing these so all right guys right now i have nick helping me uh code i the thing is we're, we're starting to think it may just need some coding the clock spring because the clock spring does have some writing on it it could just need it or um it might be a blown clock spring we need a clock spring because as you guys can see the horn doesn't work none of these buttons work um and all this connects to the clock spring and the clock spring is giving us an error and a bunch of other errors so uh yeah we're gonna try to figure out that also what's also not working is the brake sensors we replaced the front one but for some reason it's just not registering i don't know why um we'll have to figure out that as well uh we did get a lot of other things sorted like the interior is looking a lot better uh especially with the door handles i can actually can grab the doors uh we got the air filter replacing the front the two cabin air filters like guys let me show you guys the mess uh that was left once he pulled out those air filters this is what came out of it like oh my god <laughs> You see, if you guys had a lifetime warranty with FCP Euro, you'll be replacing these every like six months if you guys can. I mean, you have that right. So again, shout out to FCP Euro for actually existing. I just love how this actually works. So, you know, even if you're broke driving a seven series, you can still afford to replace your cabin air filters. All you gotta do is pay for shipping back. That, that's awesome. That's awesome. Anywho, uh, see, so yeah, I was going to figure out the coating situation. The car is already low on oil again. Uh, yeah, this thing has a really bad leak uh, between the transmission and engine, and it also has another bad leak in the oil pan. Uh, we need to replace a lot of gaskets. We're going to replace a lot of the gaskets up in the front end. Um, it's mostly on the bottom end at this point. And uh, yeah, a lot of you guys said you guys want to see this thing get fixed up. So we did a lot in this video. Um, we still got to pick up a few more things for this car. And fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. This clock spring just needs coating. If not, um, we'll need a new clock spring. Not the end of the world, but just another problem we got to deal with. All right, guys, just getting some gas and uh, we're heading out to, uh, what's it called, what's it called? LND Solutions, we have those seat belts for the M4. I know, super, super, super random that we're in the car right now, but yeah, we're heading out right now. Uh, Nick helped us code a few things. We got the brake sensor to work. Apparently, just needed some extra coding. That car has not been updated since 2010, so we're gonna do a full software update on that car. Um, something that should have been done by the dealer if that car was ever taken to the dealer. Um, so yeah, it's just really weird that this car has never touched the dealer since 2010, probably, which is insane. And even if it was taken, 
in there why didn't they update the car so it's a little weird we're about to do a massive update on the car hopefully in the near future as well probably next video uh do the ozone cleaning and everything as of right now we are running a scrunch in time we're trying to hit only do solutions before they close for the whole weekend so we need to get that seat belt we need to get the tensioner so we can install in the m4 and hopefully pass inspection so i'll see you guys when we get to lnd solutions all right guys just made it to lnd solutions uh hopefully picking up our seat belt and everything let's see if dennis is here all right brother what's shaking bacon hey, <laughs> i'm hey, good so these are the m4 things yes sir that's it Dang, that's already it's all ready to go that's yeah, perfect it was, yeah uh, squished down so these should get plugged in and ready to go yes awesome uh and then you might have to clear the codes for the airbag lighting that makes sense be. okay rivets and stuff yeah. underneath here all of this gets taken apart all the inside pieces get replaced that's about it Dang. And you gotta put it together and it works perfect guys okay this is the, this is the last thing we need now we got everything else working so yes, we'll bring down four by as soon as it's ready <laughs> That'd be awesome isn't this from the yes, chopper we still have these <laughs> these you, are this your special ordered color for your did i use all that or somebody else got it too uh yeah i think you were the only one well it came in two of these little things oh wow okay and wow yeah so if anyone, if anyone, ooh, if anyone wants a special Noor color, <laughs> there you have this, it. This is it. <laughs> Guys, we're back here again trying to get some custom seatbelts for the M4. Um, we don't know. We just got to get it wrapped first and then we'll find out. Yeah, okay, good. cool, cool. All right, guys. Got the seatbelts. Got the tension. And we are ready to roll. Uh, I guess we'll see you guys when we get home. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're officially back home with the new tensioner, with the new seatbelt. Hopefully, we're going to be installing that in the M4 pretty soon. Um, the, the prices are very, very, very reasonable to get all your stuff rebuilt. On the M4, the seatbelt is like alone $230 for a brand new seatbelt for the driver. See, not brand new. That's used from eBay. $230. Seatbelt tension, another $140. To rebuild both of those was less than half of uh, pretty much buying a whole new set. So definitely was a smart option to rebuild that on this car. Obviously, if you start with E46, go to pick and pull, pick it up, very cheap. I'm sure it'd be a lot cheaper to do it that way. But on expensive cars, especially exotic cars, LND Solutions is the way to go. Actually, they actually have a YouTube channel they started. I'm gonna be linking down their YouTube channel down below. They're also doing their own YouTube videos on stuff that they do. Uh, I'm trying to get a starlight roof on this car. Uh, I'm probably gonna start some kind of thing on YouTube where you guys kind of pressure them into hooking it up with a starlight roof for this car because uh, they want the, the, the typical charge is about two to three thousand dollars for a full starlight roof um, for exotic cars. I think it's a lot more complicated, um, which is you know it, it, I would love it, but I'm not balling. You know, like that's a lot of money. <laughs> so we might have to figure out something for that down the road. But like I said, guys, don't forget to cop your merch. These are very, very, very limited. We got the face mask right here. I don't know if you guys even wear them. I mean, you probably should, but <laughs> if you're not, I mean, these are just a collector's piece because these are only going to be 90 ever, like ever so if you guys want to copy these link down below i think they're also priced very reasonable as well and they just look so good they even also have like the, the texture is really 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 nice you'll see it, it literally it literally just attaches to your face so it's super 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 cool i love these guys definitely gonna be seeing me rock these i even love how the little logo there it's so sick i love it so much and then obviously we got the save a bmw plates my camera's kind of hiding this part but remember to stay humble save a bmw <laughs> save a bmw i think that's so sick and i love all the cutouts uh, pretty much allowed you see everything else on the plate it doesn't cover up anything pretty much on the plate just a little bit of up there but not the two series i think i should move the plate down anywho i need to stop talking so fast everybody that cops a face mask or a plate will be shot on the next video and you'll be featured on the seven series plaque uh, mainly because this is you know this set this is this is a bmw you gotta save so you guys will be featured on the seven series plaque for everyone that purchases this stuff and i think the people that actually purchase this stuff will be exclu exclusively featured on that plaque mainly because it's such a limited thing. So again, links down below guys, if you guys wanna cop it. And again, like I said, if I ever see you guys wearing this in person, Beamer Fest or any kind of car event that I meet you guys at, I'll be giving you guys a discount for something that's 100% off in the store. But without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Hopefully in the next video, I'm gonna be working on so many more things on the 7 Series and, or probably even get the M4 registered. <laughs> but yeah guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.